Yeah, guys, I'm back in my dad's house again. Tomorrow, me and him are going to go see Moonlight, which I am really looking forward to seeing. Heard tons of great things about this, about that movie. Um, you'll see my review for it tomorrow after I see it. I was going to go see Bad Santa 2, but it's gotten negative reviews, so I'm not sure. But I'm definitely seeing Moonlight tomorrow. I cannot wait to see that. So pretty much, yeah. Today I'm going to do a movie review slash rant on Dirty Grandpa. This came out in January of this year. We all know how a lot of January films have went. But <laughs> let me just talk about... What was the name of the director of this movie? Dan Crazer or something. Um, I'm sorry, let me look at the name of this director. Uh, Dan Mazer, excuse me. Okay, Dan Mazer. What were you thinking, Dan Mazer? Ruining a great actor's career and putting him into your comedy. Why did you make Robert De Niro such an asshole in this movie? Robert De Niro is a great actor. He was in a lot of Martin Scorsese movies. He was in Taxi Driver. You talking to me? You talking to me? And he was in Goodfellas. Goodfellas. One of the best movies ever. And I think he was in Godfather. I'm not sure. Let me look. Let me look real quick. I think he might have been either he he might have been in Godfather, I'm not sure. Let me look, okay, Al Pacino. No, James Gone. Uh no, I don't no, he wasn't in he wasn't in Godfather, excuse me. Oh but oh the the sequel, excuse me. I'm thinking of the sequel, excuse me. Yeah, the sequel was still good. He was in a lot of good movies. Shark Tale, I still do not like that movie. I mean, seriously, I mean, did he really have to be in that Child's Play movie? Did he really have to be in a kid's movie? And why didn't Martin Scorsese have to be in that too? They're supposed to make, like, gripping films, but yeah, anyways. Out of all the characters he's played, why does he have to be such an asshole in this movie? He was in great drama movies. He's one of the best actors ever. And you just made him into a dick. And that's that's what his name is in this movie. His name's Dick. Also stars Zac Efron. Alright. So, you got this man named Dick whose wife passed away. Pretty much just like in... Bad Grandpa, Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa. And pretty much what happens is, you know, after that, we see him, Zac Efron plays his grandson, and we see him go into his house, and we see him masturbating. We see him jacking off to porn. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah, you talking to me? You talking to me? Uh. Yeah. I really want to see Robert De Niro jacking off in this movie. Why? Why did it, Why did you make him... Like, okay. Anyways, the reason he takes his grandson out, not to have fun, but he just takes him out, even though, you know, Zac Efron has a wedding to go to, or what's his name, Jason. He plays Jason, and pretty much he just wants to feel young again. You know, he wants to be... He wants to have sex with younger women and pretty much stuff like that. So he goes to parties and stuff and pretty much Zac Efron's character, which I can kind of feel bad for. He just wants to go to his wedding and try to get stuff done, but no. His grandfather, Robert De Niro's character, has to be a fucking asshole. And pretty much, yeah. And then, you know, Zac Efron smokes cocaine. Well, and, you know, or not cocaine, crack. And he goes out on the beach and he's surrounded by beer bottles. And then he 
who wakes up and then he has to he has to call his fiance on face camera and then you know he has a he's naked and he has a bumblebee plush toy on his dick and then we see a kid come over and say while he's talking on the phone he say hi hey can i pet can i pet your bee and then he's all like no no and then he just he ignores and just gets the bee and it acts like he's it acts like zach efron is raping a kid but he's not or not raping he's molesting a kid he's making a kid suck his dick which he isn't really but it that's what it looks like his son or no no, no his father sees that and he's all like hey what are you doing what are you? and then he gets arrested for something that he didn't do and you got this one guy that made him take the crack give gave him the crack he was in jail also but they let him out of jail and they give him back his drugs are you kidding me he should, and they don't let him out for something that he didn't do. And he, they give him back his drugs. Drugs are bad, okay? I don't get it. Why? Why? Are, are these guys even police officers or drug dealers in disguise? They give him back his drugs. They let him out of jail. He's a drug dealer. He's, I don't get it. And pretty much, you know, pretty much just un. Okay. This has like 10% of laughs, and that's it. I chuckled a couple times in this movie, like, but that's not really saying much. Some This movie was kind of boring, to be honest with you. Why would Lionsgate do this? Why did the director have to fuck with Robert De Niro's career? This is probably going to be a new step to them ruining Robert De Niro's career. They already ruined Al Pacino's career with Jack and Jill, who Al Pacino was in The Godfather, which is known to be one of, if not the best movie ever made. And I can say that it, The Godfather is a great movie and it is one of the best movies ever. And, but really though, why? Did they put Robert De Niro in this comedy? This is even worse than Shark Tale. This, I, I can say this though. This film is not as bad as Zoolander 2. Excuse me, Zoolander 2. Which is another film that came out this year. I will say this is one of the worst movies I've seen this year. And one of the worst comedies I've seen this year. Uh, but is it the worst comedy I've seen this year? No, no, like I said before. Fifty Shades of Black was a hell of a lot worse, and this is not the worst January film. No, Norm of the North is the worst January film of this year. No, no doubt. Or, wait, or, I, I think Fifty Shades of Black might came out in January, so scratch that. But, uh, but, but still, anyways, I'm just saying, like, really... The characters in this movie are just a bunch of assholes. Except for Zac Efron. Zac, Zac Efron was okay, but really. But yet, Robert De Niro ha and his new wife have a baby at the end. You think it's Zac Efron and his new wife, but no. No, it's actually his grandpa's baby. He's too old to have a baby. He shouldn't even have a baby. Like, really? Like, really, his character might, no offense, but he might even be dead before he actually, he, his son grows up. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not trying to be, no, but seriously, I'm not saying I want this care, want any of these characters to die, hell no, but I'm just saying, like, the acting was just mediocre at best. It has tons of cliches, and why did Robert De Niro agree to be in this movie. Robert De Niro, just do us all a favor and never be in another comedy movie again. That is not what your mojo is meant for. It's meant for dramas, you know, gripping gangster films. Not comedy. That is not what you're best for. No, no. Be something in like Taxi Driver or Goodfellas. Be in 
movies like those because this is not what you were born to do. But yeah, anyways, man, this movie pisses me off because Robert De Niro's in it. Why? But anyways, oh uh, my god. All, overall, this movie gets a half a star out of five. I don't recommend it. It's definitely one of the worst films I've seen this year. So yeah, that is it for this video, and I will see you guys later. We're out.